In this five part series, we're going to go from this to this. It's a CNC machine of my own design, which I'm calling the Stupid Strong CNC. In this video, we're gonna start by putting the frame together. So I paid to have these parts water jetted. I did some research and to buy the metal was gonna be about $250 and I would cut it myself. To have it water jetted was 500 materials and cutting. So definitely think that was worth it. Uh, what they couldn't do was drill the holes in the side of the base plate so that it can accept the front and back. So I guess I'll start there. And I think a good goal for the first day is going to be just assembling the frame. I bought this uh, transfer set about four months ago thinking I was gonna get to this project. A little loose, a little tight, just right. Now we just need to figure out how to get this in the drill press so we can drill it on end. So the best I could do here was create a little guide block out of a piece of scrap aluminum and that will guide my hand drill hopefully pretty square. Turns out the base plate was too big to fit in my drill press. Believe it or not, this was a pretty big hang up for me to get this project started. Just knowing that the base was the first thing I needed to make and that there were, was holes that I needed to drill and they weren't gonna fit in the drill press. So to get this done feels really good. It's a great start, but it's just that, it's just a start. All right, now we're going to get started assembling the gantry, which is basically the same thing. We have to uh, drill holes into the side of the bottom plate, I guess we'll call it. Okay, kinda got a gantry. I should mention this CNC is entirely my own design, so I have absolutely no idea at this point if it's going to work. This is not a kit, and to see the parts actually start coming together was pretty darn exciting. I was planning on stopping here today, but I am too excited. I have to get this thing on the rails and see it slide around. So let's go ahead and start with that. All right, here is my box of parts that me from six months ago ordered. So hopefully everything we need is in there. I think these top two rails are what we want. So this should actually not be too difficult. Uh, what I don't remember is what screws I spec'd for each part. I went through painstakingly to make sure I ordered just the right amount of screws because it quickly got expensive ordering all these screws. And I don't remember if I used these. Not a great start to the rails. You can see I was only able to get screws on one side. You can see the holes on this side are just barely off. So what I'm gonna to need to do is take the rails over to the drill press and just enlarge the holes. But now that I've got the two rails on and they're working, it's time to put on, oh gosh, the gantry. And I've already made a mistake there as well. Uh, these bearings were already pre-tapped with holes and I had the water jet cut holes for me to tap M5. So I got to bore out all these holes, which is not a big deal. And then I can bolt it up, see if it works. All right, mostly a success, but so far we only have half the bolts lining up. So only the outside corners, these ones are a little bit, you're never gonna see in there. They're just a little bit off as well. This. enough support now to tip it up. Oh. I gotta push it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's kind of ridiculous. And already almost to the point where I can't lift it. So I don't know if it's gonna be stupid strong, but it is gonna be stupid heavy. Let's see if I can give you a little closer look at the action down here. In the next video, we're gonna finish up the frame by working on the one part that the water jetter wanted just too much to cut. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, bye. Echo, turn the recording off. 
If you'd like to learn how to design parts to cut in a CNC machine like this, we sell an eight hour course called Fusion 360 for hobbyists and woodworkers. I'll leave a link in the description for a $30 off coupon. And in fact, you can watch me design this entire machine from the ground up as part of the extra credit section of that course.